What's going on guys? Quick video here. I get requests pretty often to send a spreadsheet as someone messaged me today and it's not the first time I've had multiple requests for people to send it over and I just thought, you know, it would be a little bit more valuable just to show um, exactly how I do it. It doesn't take long. So in, in this case, I'm going to go from com C. So we're going to go to not request shipment. Going to go to or shipment history, shipment history, and then I'll just take whatever here. So I have a spreadsheet here open. We're going to start from blank. And what we're going to do, we're going to start by copy and pasting. So I'm going to start right next to this zero, which is important. And then we're going to go up to this image here. Then we're going to go control C. So we're going to copy that over and we're going to pop that into the spreadsheet here. I want to leave a few rows up top so that I can put stuff in there. So now we're going to hit control V which is going to paste it in there and it's going to look really funky and odd, but we can adjust all that stuff. Um, this B here, you know, we can hide this column here. It doesn't matter too much, but then what we're going to do so we can title these. So let's go um, card name. We'll go cost. Um, these I actually add together. So what I would do is go total cost. And the first thing I'm going to do actually is if you go control A, I want to go normal. So up here, oh, wrong button up here. If we hit control, I want to go normal and then it's going to make it look like this. Um, we're going to highlight these three columns and we're going to turn it to dollars. Highlight this column. We want it dollars as well. And then I am going to do a total. So I'm going to go sum equals this plus this there's a couple ways to do this but this is an easy way so the total of those and then i'm just going to drag this down and we'll get a total whoop we'll get a total for for these guys here so there's our first column then i'm not going to go through and delete them all but you do have to delete all of these so get rid of those and we just want to be left with the total cost now, if you're in Canada, we want to add the shipping cost. Well, you want to add the shipping cost regardless, but I'm going to put shipping cost here. I'm just going to say shipping cost. Let's pretend it was um, 50 cents, 50 cents per card. So what I'm going to do now, we want to convert this to Canadian if you're in Canada. So you can do this however you like, but I'm going to go total cost again. And then I want to get, you know, roughly the, the exchange rate that I paid on that. So let's call it, I use 1.35 typically right now. It's been that way for a while. So we're going to go F11 times 1.35. And then we're going to add our shipping cost of 50 cents Canadian. The shipping cost I usually break out to Canadian in itself. So that's going to give us our total cost right there. And then once again, we're going to drag this down. So there we have our total cost. And again, we're going to want to go in and delete all these 50 centers. I'm just going to leave those there. Uh, next thing I would have is sold price. And then I like ROI. These are sort of my, my standard columns. And up here, I'm going to want to know, I always put like total cost. And I do include shipping in that uh, total sales. And then I usually do an ROI over here. So for total cost, we're going to go equal sum bracket. And I'm going to take the total cost here and add all these up. Obviously, it's going to add in all these 50 cent spots right now, but that's fine just for illustrative purposes. So we can see that the total is $55. Let's do a sale here of $25. We're going to make this all dollar signs. And then what I'm going to do is for total sales, I'm going to go equal sum bracket and I'm going to highlight all of these. So anytime I put a number in here, this is going to go into the sales portion. So we can see now we've spent $55 and we made a sale for $25. And if we make another sale here, let's say we made a sale of $10, we got $35 in sales. Okay, so, so that's the, the gist of, of how I set that up. Now this total cost right here is sort of irrelevant. This is my cost, which would be the Canadian cost. Okay, so for ROI right here, we're gonna go, we're gonna 
put an equal sign, we're gonna take the sold price, divide it by the total cost, and then we're gonna minus one. And that's gonna give us 110% ROI. Copy this down. You're gonna get some errors here. Um, or here's the errors here because I deleted these. So again, I go through all these and delete these. And you see this is minus 100%. They're all minus 100% obviously, but we're looking good right here. And then I wanna do a total ROI here. So we're gonna go equals, we're gonna divide our sales by total cost and subtract one from it. And we are going to be minus 37% on this sub. And let's do another $20.71. And then there's the sale. And then we are dead even on this sub. So we have an ROI of zero, we are break even. But that is how I do it. That's a quick spreadsheet. You can see it only took me a couple minutes to get this together. The cool part I think is copy and pasting from, if you're doing it from column C, if you're doing a manual spreadsheet, then you can fill in the data however you like. But copying and pasting these over. So again, we're just gonna go up to there. We're gonna go control C. We'll take it, plop it in here, and it's likely not gonna format right again. Um, but we'll go Control A, and then we'll go to normal, do that again, Control A, go to normal, and it should line those up, and then we can drag these down and everything is gonna fill in. That's how I make my spreadsheets. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, gets the job done. Hope you get something from it, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, and have fun, boys. We'll check you.